Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Baxter and I'm going to talk about pain and ice cubes and vibration and sex shops and how combining all of these can actually make your life better and less embarrassing. Some pain in life is unnecessary, but some is unavoidable. Needle pain is unavoidable, and children say that it's the worst pain next to the disease for hospitalization. By age two in our country, 20 shots have been obtained by the time a child is two years old. Now, people respond differently, either with terror or nausea or extreme amusement if it's happening to somebody else. But the problem is this leads to needle phobia in about 30% of kids and 15% of adults. Needle phobia is not just fun to watch in someone else, it also causes people to avoid getting health care that they need. Turns out that 15% of people with HIV delayed getting diagnosed six months. People up to 75% don't donate blood because they're afraid of needles. <laughs> now we'd all like to protect our kids from all pain, even if some of it may be good for them. I got interested in this because my son Max had a horrible experience when he was four with a nurse who said, you better sit there or this is really going to hurt. And it did. So I've learned a lot about pain and I'd like to try to teach you some in the remaining three minutes so that you can help your family. Pain's not just physical, it's also how much you fear the procedure and how much attention you're paying to the procedure itself. Turns out the pain can be mitigated by something called gate theory. In 1965, Melzack and Wall found that if you put vibration on A beta fibers or cold on C fibers, you could block out sharp pain on A delta fibers. This blocking sometimes is done with giving shots to horses. You punch them and give them the shot. But you all know it from if you bang your hand with a hammer, shaking it makes your hand feel better. Now, you can get a little pocket vibrating massager from Brookstone for, or you can go to Cheshire Bridge. <laughs> And you can see what's on sale, and that's what we did. Um, it turns out that ice actually works with something called descending inhibition. It's kind of like bandwidth. You actually, your brain dampens out some sensations if you have something that takes up a lot of attention. Cold is obnoxious, and so you feel that. So we've said that vibration and cold can help block the pain itself. Blocking fear is largely a parent's job. If you ramp down your anxiety, kids' anxiety is decreased by about 50%. You also want to avoid words that aren't going to help. And be honest. All right, perhaps being completely honest doesn't help, but you can avoid words like pain and instead say this is not much bother. We're going to make it more comfortable. So avoiding bad trigger words and using good language helps. Now taking someone's attention away will be helpful if the child can remember the last desert island they went to. But if they don't have this image in their brain to distract their attention, you always have ceiling tiles. Tell them to count how many tiles there are, how many corners there are, how many squares there are, how many shapes there are. By now you know that the ideal pain reliever will involve cold, vibration, distraction, and some task. So I combined all of these together to make a product that would decrease needle pain. Might not make it completely Charmin, but it takes it out. I started the company naming it after my kids Max, Miles, and Jill. Max is in the middle wearing clothes this time. And my fourth child, Buzzy, they helped me develop by smashing vibrators, smashing cell phones, and uh, being guinea pigs for their own personal shots. Buzzy bevolved from that big massive thing to a little thing made out of cell phones to finally being the adorable chubby bee that he is. After we finished uh, with the B, we worked on something for distraction. We called B-Stractor cards. The idea is you take these with you to the doctor, or you have a poster on the wall. Can you find two stars that are identical? Oh, made you look. The parents can ask questions that are written on the back, so that way they don't have to think about the perfectly pitched questions. Now, we did a study at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta looking at 81 children getting IV sticks. We randomized them to Buzzy or Standard Care, which was usually cold spray, and we found that Buzzy significantly decreased pain, both by the children's impression, the parents' impression of pain, and also by objective videotaped coding of how often they flailed, cried out, screamed, cried, and their reactions. So this pain reduction is something that now an NIH grant is helping us test for immunizations. 
We have a website, which is right now the only place you can get Buzzy. And we designed and optimized the website, so now it'll come up in the top 10, usually number two, if you just put in Buzzy. But we put a lot of information, everything that we know about how to decrease pain naturally, how to do it quickly and efficiently. Seeing is believing. If you go on the website, you can see the videos of kids who are getting shots. Certainly, it doesn't take the sting out of shots for everyone, but it makes it no biggie with Buzzy. Thank you.